Okay, so uh, from a sort of industry perspective, I guess it was like you say it was well, it was pretty much unheard of. Bitcoin was um, so not only um, was I trying to market Coin Corner as a place to come and buy Bitcoin, you then had to. Well, I mean, it's still the case now, um, but not as much. But you had to educate people on Bitcoin itself and what it is, and you know why why you want people to buy it. Um, from Coin Corner's perspective, actually, so up until the start of this year, we marketing challenges wise, I have never had a marketing budget. Um, so because we've never taken VC funding, we've always run everything very lean. So we, from marketing perspective the challenges I personally faced was like focusing on out of the box kind of marketing ideas things that didn't cost money um and we we had like a quite a big focus on building sort of like marketing foundations when it you know like SEO and building from the sort of bottom up to ensure that you know we couldn't compete necessarily with the bigger guys so we worked on making sure all the um the SEO, SEO side was you know spot on um and then, yeah, I guess sort of the other side of it was that there wasn't many. I've got my marketing hat on here, by the way. Um, I guess there wasn't many tried and tested ways of marketing for Bitcoin. I mean, with much more established industries, you know what works, you know what doesn't. Um, so it was very much a case of trying to figure out, yeah, what what works, what doesn't, where where the right audience are going to be. Um, because like I said, sort of marketing with very little budget, you had to make sure, well, from Coin Corner's perspective anyway, that, you know, the marketing was going to be spot on and not wasted, essentially. 